this was my hair last year and this was my hair pretty much the same time this year. Do you notice the difference? No, because I've retained zero length. In this video, I'm going to talk about why and what I'm doing to reverse this. What's up, cows? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kiki, and if you are new here, I do all things curly hair tips, product reviews, and styling. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the fact that my hair has stopped growing and what I'm going to do about this. So if you've been keeping up to date with my recent YouTube videos and my socials, you would have noticed that I've been posting about my recent trip to the hairdressers and the fact that my hair has literally stayed the same in the past year. Yes, my hair has grown, however, it has not retained any length and mainly it was due to the fact that I've had to trim off my hair as it's been growing. My hairdresser asked me if I've been doing anything different with my hair because the ends were in such a state and it was all completely different lengths and I do not have a clue as to why it looks like that. Well, I can only kind of assume why it looks like that. And the main three things that I've noticed that I have not been doing over the course of this year is I've been one, not wearing protective styles. Number two, I did go away on holiday and I did have my hair out a lot of the time, which meant it wasn't really protected from the, U the UVA and UVB rays. I'm not sure how damaging the sun is to your hair and how that may have impacted my hair, but I'm kind of taking it as maybe it was one of the things. And lastly, I've constantly been switching up the hair products that I've used. Obviously, I'm a content creator, so I get sent a lot of products on a weekly basis. And that means I just get kind of overwhelmed with what I want to try and wanting to try lots of new things every single week. And I often find that I will use completely different products every week and even products from different lines in terms of like a shampoo and conditioner by a different brand. So we're going to discuss what I need to do and what I have been doing over the past three to four weeks since my last haircut to reverse some of this damage and hopefully make my hair grow back and even longer than it was before. So the first thing that I have been doing since my last haircut, which was in October at the beginning of 2023, was I have been wearing protective styles. Since I had that silk press, I have not worn my hair in a wash and go state. And the reason for this is that I generally find that my hair does not grow well when it is in a wash and go state. This is mainly due to the reason that it gets dry easy and it breaks easier and it gets a lot of single strand knots and just knots in general because I do have high density hair, which just means that it is really susceptible to tangles. And often I find it difficult to manage that on a daily basis with me being with me having quite an active job and being in the gym, etc., I find it harder to manage my hair healthily when it's in a wash and go state. So the first thing I have stopped doing is wearing wash and goes. As you can see, my hair is in cameras at the minute. This is the style that I've been wearing since I washed my hair from the silk press and it's been enabling me to keep my hands out of my hair, which is a huge issue for me. I love to touch my hair and I love to just mess around in it, which is not good because it causes breakage and dryness. The second thing I've been doing is I've been taking supplements. Now I've been taking general like hair, skin and nail gummies twice a day and I've been taking a supplement called Saw Palmetto. Saw Palmetto is a natural extract that usually comes in a tablet form. There's not been too much research conducted on this supplement. Evidence suggests that it reduces hair loss and increases hair density and it is potentially a DHD blocker. One of the reasons I decided to use this supplement is that it doesn't have too many side effects as much as the other supplements do. So with biotin, people can break out and things like that. And obviously the hair gummies that I'm taking already do contain a little bit of biotin in them. So I didn't want to take biotin. I wanted to just try something that was kind of completely new, but also natural. And um, so that is why I've tried this. And so far I've not seen any negative side effects, but it does take at least 90 days to see the effects. So I won't be able to give you any kind of results on that until I've reached Christmas time and I do my update video. The third thing I have been doing to increase the growth of my hair is 
not switching up my products that I use on wash day. At the moment, I've been trying to stick to at least the same sort of products every wash day. So far, I've used the Shea Moisture, I think it's the Moisture Retention products. It's a Shea Butter line, so I've been using the shampoo and the mask for that. And then for my stylers, I've been using a Kel Cream and a Grease. So that brings me on to my fourth thing that I've been doing is using hair grease. I've been implementing hair grease back into my regimen just because it is a really nice way of sealing in moisture and it's just a little bit more of a heavier barrier when I'm doing protective styling and just to lock in that moisture because I don't spray my hair and wet it too much when it's in a protective style as I would when it would be in a wash and go state. So obviously I don't want my curls to dry out, therefore I've just been sealing it with um, a grease just to kind of lock in that moisture a little bit more. So those are the main things that I've been doing recently and I'm gonna try and keep consistent with this, especially taking the supplements. I really do wanna see a change in my thickness and the hair loss and growth. I did used to take Hairfinity at one point, this was quite a few years ago, and I did see change with Hairfinity. My hair was a lot fuller and thicker when I started using them. Although I don't necessarily need thickness, I would like to reduce the amount of hair loss and I would like to see a little bit of growth. So fingers crossed in my next video that I will update you with during Christmas time, we will see some change from my next hair appointment with my hair. Hopefully that it won't be as damaged and my length will look a lot better than the previous image because that was shocking. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with this hair growth journey and hopefully by Christmas, we will see some changes with these things that I've been implementing and I will see you in the next one.